Welcome to the latest edition of Trading Clinic, where the subject this week is rather appropriate given the Greek and China situations. It's all about market uncertainty and the common mistakes this can cause. First to the importance of the stop loss order. I think a really important thing to remember about stop losses is that they're there to protect you and more importantly to protect your money. Uh, some people feel that they can just wing it and they'll be all okay but really any sensible or professional trader who's looking to make long-term gains is always going to use a stop loss. Wish that it was just as simple as that though because there are a couple of golden rules that you have to remember with stop losses. The first one is not to sort of play around with them. Uh, it may be a fast or violent or very volatile market, but once you've set your stop loss, leave that order with the broker and let it stay there. There's a terrible tendency for people to maybe move it just a little bit because they think it's at just the wrong level. But have the discipline not to move it so that you could increase your losses. The second, and I guess this is quite obvious, but again, a lot of people fall into this trap, is don't set your stop at a round number. So don't set it at $50 or £1.20 or at uh, 1.50 in a currency because the market is always looking to try and find where stop loss orders are. Remember that markets don't just trade money, they trade information. And where you put your stop at a nice round number, you've given a bit of information advantage to the rest of the marketplace. So learn to slightly hide your stops. With a constant stream of headlines, meetings and quotes, how best to deal with the market noise? Well, the critical thing, and I know we've talked about this before, is to look at your investment horizon. If you've got a three-month investment horizon on your trade, there's absolutely no point to be looking at a minute-by-minute -minute data stream. Remember, you'll have your stop loss in place that will protect you if you're not got eyeballing the market every second. But it's important to adjust your information flow that you take in with the sort of horizon you've got with your market trade. Now, if you've got a trade that you've only got a one or two hour view on, well, then you're very much going to be glued to the news flow. So it's learning to adjust the amount of information you can take in and make sense of compared to your trading positions. Remember that the brain is a muscle. It gets tired. We get overfilled with information. So much information and then so little knowledge. Don't wear yourself out trying to follow every little tick and every little bit of news and rumour. And when a situation suddenly switches, do you stick to your guns or raise the white flag? Some people get quite angry and they actually plough straight back into the marketplace, almost as if they want to teach the market a lesson. I might have been wrong on the first leg of this move, but I'm going to be right now. Well, trading's not about trying to be right, it's about trying to make money. And if you feel that your emotions are starting to boil up into your decision making, you need to stop and stand back and think again. It's never a bad thing when you've had a loss or you've had something not quite work out as you expect or maybe not as much profit as you were hoping for to stand back and to analyse your trades and see what you can do better next time. Human nature only likes to look at good things and we have a terrible problem with analysing our mistakes and maybe just chance when things go wrong but we learn the most when we stand back and analyze those trades that didn't work out.